Hello YouTube, Ruthless is back. Uh, today I'm sharing with you day four of my trophy, jam free trophy challenge where I'm trying to reach to Masters League or as high as I can without using any jams uh, and also using relatively simple troop composition. As you can see I'm already above uh, 2600 trophies, I've reached Masters League three and it took me four days to get there from 1800 trophies which is pretty fast I mean uh, anybody can do that as far as my league uh, you can see the activity is not that high most of the um, bases are attacking under 30 have under 30 attacks per season which is nothing for two week um, attacks but this particular guy I chose to show you guys because he's had the most uh, defense wins and as you can see as you saw he had purple walls but everything else was maxed out so with that being said I've come across and I'm gonna show you that in a minute come across quite a few bases where all of their weapons are maxed out but their walls of course not um, as far as activity, uh, the highest in my league was a uh, little over 130 and I've had over 293 attacks in this particular season, which kind of also shows you that uh, if you're staying active uh, enough, uh, you should do very well because if these guys are doing 30 to 40 attacks in two weeks, if you can manage to do 100 to 200 attacks in single season, you should pretty much skyrocket to... Uh, about 3,000 with no issues. I also have last few hours of my boost um, complements of uh, Supercell birthday gift. As far as my army composition, as you can see, I've been using 12 to 16 balloons. I've also used minions uh, and I've tried to have three rage spells and one lightning, lightning uh, spell. And I'm trying to have at least one spell on hand before I go into an attack. If I have two, that's fantastic, but at least minimum of one spell. So when I don't have to use him, I trying to not to, but um, in this particular level or at this uh, height uh, in trophies, you have to use at least one spell, no matter what army composition you go to. If you don't, uh, again, you're pretty lucky. So as far as bases, as you can see, um, most of the bases that I've come in, I'm coming across are Town Hall 10s. Most of them do have maxed out weapons or defense towers. Um, relatively few do not have maxed out troops, uh, I'm sorry, defense towers, but majority of them do so. As you can see, this guy has still level 1 uh, expos. So here's another example. Uh, heroes are both level 20, uh, pretty much everything maxed out except the um, air towers. Uh, next one, again, Town Hall level 10, um, almost maxed out base as well. Um, next one, um, again, Town Hall level 10. So if you are Town Hall 9, you probably will see a little bit more of Town Hall 9s. In my case, I have not seen a single Town Hall 8. Um, I did come across two Town Hall 9s, and I've attacked them right away because it's much easier attacking those bases that do not have Inferno Towers. So again, um, this particular person, as you can see, also almost maxed out uh, Town Hall 10. So that's pretty much what happens as soon as you hit um, 2,600 trophies. As soon as you get to that point, you will see quite a change in terms of um, bases you could attack. So another thing that I wanted to um, sort of mention is um, don't attack right away be patient attack bases that are suitable for your army composition in my case I was shooting for bases that uh, have lower air defense and uh, air defense towers are kinda closer to the edge so I can take them out uh, right away as far as my attack log as you can see and I'm gonna show you a couple of replays um, have, for example this one I've got pretty lucky because uh, this person did not load his expos and did not load his um, inferno tower so again, the strategy is pretty simple, um, using my minions to take out heroes, uh, in particular the archer Quinn, uh, so she doesn't shoot down my uh, balloons. And as soon as I do that, I send all of my 12 or 16 balloons and I back them up with my minions. Uh, in this case, I had to use one rage, and the reason why, because I was not expecting his uh, hidden Teslas to be level 7. 
but uh, those quite a killjoy because once they pop up, they take out balloons relatively fast. So uh, it takes, I believe, about two shots to take out single minion, but as far as balloons, those go down really fast. So as you can see, my attack is pretty fast. It's under two minutes, and I'm already 43, 45%, and um, I did not have to use my heroes, and the reason why, because um, all of my minions are gone, as you can see, except for this one last minion in the middle. Uh, this is why I absolutely love this troop, because the they're always staying out of reach and there's always a chance for one or two minions to stay away from all the defense towers and finish the job. And in this particular case, again, I got lucky, uh, but I did have my heroes. I didn't have to use them. I would still win at 50%, but I also was able to take out Town Hall, uh, which was a big plus for me. So I got two stars, as you can see, in about 10 seconds. I'll have two stars at 50%, and I've gotten a few extra... Uh, trophies for this win. So this is definitely exciting. Again, uh, my goal was to use um, sort of simple strategy and see how high can I get with those type of troops. Balloons, minions do the job. Uh, in my case, I do have both maxed out uh, level seven, level six balloons, I'm sorry, and level five minions. So here's not a replay. Um, what looked like a pretty simple base uh, because I thought I'm just gonna go in, take out uh, Archer Quinn, and uh, go from the top. It took me a while to take her out, um, about seven minions. And then, as soon as I dropped my balloons on top, my goal was to take out all those air um, defenses and go with the minions right after. What I did not count on is that he will have um, uh, clan castle troops, so I had to use one um, one airstrike or one, um, sorry, lightning uh, spell. And then, as you can see, my balloons are pretty much gone because of the Inferno Towers. That's what I also wanted to mention. Before you attack, take a look at the base. See uh, what your strategy should be and spend enough time. Don't just jump and rush in to attack. Spend about 20 to 30 seconds uh, pre-battle time and get your strategy in place. So um, in this particular base, again, I'm going kind of slow. I still have a minute and a half left. Um, also, this guy had all uh, air uh, traps and etc. And quite a few of my army uh, minions uh, were killed by that. But he is definitely a premature Town Hall 10. And even then, the Inferno Towers, the Exbos, are doing tremendous amount of damage. So I'm about 37%. As you can see, now the top is clear, but I didn't do even 40%. So I have to now attack from the bottom. And because I don't have any ground troops, uh, that makes it a little bit more complicated in this case, because as soon as my troops are getting closer, those Inferno Towers or Exbos will definitely kill them. And on top of that, I was not expecting one last... Um, uh, hidden Tesla to pop up on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do here again, I'm gonna try to uh, trick his um, Barbarian King, drop my clan castle uh, troops, and luckily I had two witches uh, thanks to my clan. Um, I was really happy to get those in my clan castle tr uh, troops because as soon as I deploy them, uh, as you can see, things went a lot faster. So I was able to secure the 50% win, one star, exactly what I needed to uh, carry on. Again, uh, when you do that, you can use ground troops, you can use air troops, you can use combinations. I just suggest to use something that you are truly com comfortable with. So in my case, I love balloons, I love minions, and that's what I'm trying to use to reach uh, as high as it to go as high as I can, pretty much. So so those were the replays. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Day 5 will be posted tomorrow. We'll be talking more about uh, attack strategy and uh, showing you more replays. I hope you enjoyed. Please do drop a like and uh, please do drop a comment if you liked it. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Thank you.